Hi students, this is Ms. Boyd and I'm going to give you a brief overview on how you can access the DCPS Library's ebook collection using Follett Destiny. The first thing that you need to do is log on to Clever. You log on to Clever anyway because you have to access the many platforms there to complete work and you'll be able to find the portal that will take you directly into the Follett Destiny ebook collection. So we're just going to click the link and because I'm always in and out of Clever all day long, Chrome has recognized my um, uh, password so I'm already signed in. You can access Destiny two ways. You can go to the left-hand panel on Clever, scroll down to Library and Resources, and there you will find Destiny sitting right there, the second icon. Now, it might look a little different on your page, but you'll be able to find it under Library and Resources. Now, you can also do something that's special, which I like to do. Uh, I have clicked the heart in the upper right-hand corner of the screen for um, that particular icon. And what happens is when you click on favorite resources, they automatically appear at the top of your page on Clever. So Destiny is here on the top row. I'm able to access it. So we're going to click on Destiny. And now it's going to take us to the DCPS, DCPS um, library programs landing page. What you need to do is go over to the left hand panel and you're going to click on middle schools and scroll down to Jefferson MS Academy, meaning middle school academy. Click on the link. And then you, it's going to take you to the Jefferson Academy virtual library landing page. Let me go through this really quickly so you understand the components and what you can find on this page. This page will constantly be updated, so check back from time to time and make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. So as you scroll down, the first area I want to bring to your attention is the Jefferson Academy homepage that is specifically for DCPS at home. If you click into this particular box, um, it's going to take you to the Jefferson Academy uh, homepage, and this is where you'll find all the material for DCPS at home. You'll notice that some of the stuff looks so really familiar because it's our um, distance learning schedule and also different tips, different schedules, a weekly learning plan. There's a lot of good information in here regarding Microsoft Teams, how you can log on as well as packet information, um, additional resources, and dates. So that's really a good page to know and uh, bookmark. Okay, so continuing on, um, there's two areas I want you to pay a close attention to. One is, th this is the JA Virtual Learning Resources for Students, and then there's also a portal for parents. But for you students, I think you need to take a look at this on a regular basis because if you're going to participate in the Beanstalk Challenge, if you click into the first one, this is a Google Docs um, uh, through my personal page, uh, you'll get the directions on how you can access the Reading Challenge through Beanstack. There's going to be a lot of nice prizes given out for that. And there's a lot of detailed information in here to help you participate. Also, too, those of you who would like to learn more about how you can get a DC Public Library card, there's directions in here to get that information as well. You can get a temporary library card. It will be emailed to you within minutes. So I suggest you try and um, apply for one online. There's directions in this particular document. The last one, for those of you who are really crazy about graphic novels and comic books, there's a lot of free material online that I found and I've also put on this page. So it's just a matter of clicking each, each link and determining which one is um, of interest to you. So continuing down the page, 
This is a one pager that comes from the EdTech department and it shows you exactly how you sign on to Clever, Microsoft 365, or Canvas. It also gives you directions on how you can uh, put the app on your smartphones. So pay close attention to that section for Microsoft Office 365 and Canvas. Um, there are the direct links and web addresses for all of the major uh, portals that we use or platforms that we use. Um, there's also directions on how to, you can log on to Clever, as well as uh, the public library and all the resources that are there for you to use. My virtual office hours, I will note, pay close attention, this is a different email address, guys. If you're trying to contact me, it's listed here, jareadersLMC at gmail.com. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at boss underscore librarian. So continuing down the page, I will be doing read alouds, not just for your younger brothers and sisters. I will also be doing some book talks and read alouds for you as well. So check back in this section from time to time, as well as I will be doing a lot of library tutorials, just showing you how you can use some of the different apps through the library program. So that's basically the landing page for the library, uh, virtual library. But what we want to do right now is access um, our uh, ebook collection. So you're going to go in the upper right hand corner and click log in. And you're going to sign in using the same credentials that you would use to sign into Clever. Teachers, if you need assistance with signing in, there are directions on that landing page. And either you can email me and I will uh, give you some support. Now you're on the main page for uh, the Jefferson uh, Virtual Library. You're going to go up to Catalog. When you go up to Catalog, click on Catalog. And you're going to go over to the left-hand panel and select Destiny Discover. Once you click on Destiny Discover, it will take you into our main page. I did something a little different. I brought the ebooks and the interactive books and the audio books all the way up to the top of the list here, as you can see. So they're all up here, so you can see them. Oop, I actually accidentally went into there by accident. Let me go back in. Okay. Um, you can access the ebooks here interactive books and audiobooks. You can uh, access them through your desktop computer, a tablet, or even from your cell phone, as long as you can log in. So the cool thing about this is that um, we can take a look at different eBooks if you want. Some of you are really crazy about Percy Jackson, so let's just take a look at that one. And here's the Percy Jackson uh, book. You will have to log in. So I'm going to log in here. And I'm logging in using the same credentials that I use to get into Clever. Now I'm in. And I'm going to look at... Uh, one of my favorite authors, Rick Riordan. So I'm going to look at his ebook, and this is The Battle of Labyrinth, and I'm going to click open. So right now I'm trying to determine if I actually want to check this book out. So what I'm going to do is just open the book, and now here is the book. It's ready for me to read. I have a choice here. I can go in the upper right-hand corner. I can select the type of layout or display that I would like. I can um, select a single page or I can select a double page layout if I wanted to. So I'm going to turn the page using the arrow on the right hand side of the screen. And you see it's a double page view. I'm going to click all the way into like the first chapter. There we go. Click back. Okay, so this is chapter one. Now, if you don't like the presentation, just go up to display options. You can make the text larger. You can make it smaller. 
You can read a single page, as I said earlier, or double page. If you want to use the default, which is the white background, you have that choice. A black background, a lot of kids like the black background these days. I know I like it too. Uh, it could be beige, gray, blue, it's your choice. The next thing is if you're reading along and let's say you read for about 30 minutes and you wanna bookmark the page, it will add a bookmark for you. And this will be helpful for you, especially if you're doing the bean stack challenge, because it will actually show when and where you stopped reading and what day and what time. Um, there are two other icons here. You can also take notes, you can search within the text, that's your choice. But let's say you do wanna check this book out, you can click on book options and you can click on check out book. So now the book is checked out for two weeks for four, until 4-21-20. It kind of appeared really fast at the bottom here. But what you can do is close the book. And if you want, you can double check and take a look at your books that are checked out on the left-hand panel. So if you click on checkouts, now you see that your book is due on April 21st. If you decide you want to return this book, Beforehand, only thing you have to do is click on return. And now the book is returned and there's nothing checked out. Now I want to take you back to something to, if you, you know, you're looking for something particular um, in the catalog. An easy way to do that is that, um, let's say we're searching ebooks, you can click on see all and you can sort by the author's name or the title or if you know the call, the call number or the year it was published, you could do that. If you want, I like to go over on the left-hand panel and go over to genre. And when I go over to genre, I always select all, and then I'm able to go down and just scroll down and look at all the different books that are within that particular filter. Now you guys are crazy about cartoons and comics, so I'm gonna click on car cartoons and comics. And now, all the cartoons and comics that are followed ebooks, as you see here, they will appear. So let's just scroll down and take a look at some of them. It's a lot of them in here. And this is just one section of ebooks. So let's look at this one The World of Food Chains with Max Axiom, the Super Scientist. So let's click on open. And when we open this particular book, we can search the same way we were searching. We were looking at that Rick Riordan book, same way. So I search for books a different way. That's the only way, that's the only difference that I did. And um, he, like I said, if you wanna make this a larger text, I know I would if I was reading this, you can. You can make it much bigger. You know, um, and you can really customize this the way that you want to customize it. Also, too, I want to bring to your attention, if you would like to have the text read to you by a woman, a man, uh, someone with an accent, if you wanted to, it's, it's all up to you. So here's an example of that. Daniel's going to read to us. And we're going to go up here. To where you see the play button and click play and now it's going to be read one to connecting you. our world super scientist max axiom stops at a local outdoor market before an amazing i'm going to hit pause no i want to have karen read to me instead and i'm going to click play now karen's going to read to me section one connecting our world super scientist max axiom stops at a local outdoor market before an amazing and also too if you want this read in a different language jorge can read to you Section 1 connecting our world super scientist Max Axiom stops at a local outdoor market before an amazing journey into the... So your choice. So you um, have some options here, what you can use if you want the, um, the voice to slow down, speed up, your choice. It's how you would like to customize your reading experience. I'm going to close this book and we're going to go back to the Destiny main page here. Now, those are ebooks. We also have interactive ebooks. And let me show you what the interactive ebooks look like. You can search the same way as you did before. 
You can look for different books. Let's look for horror books, for example. Let's look at a, a horror books. And this is a um, interactive multimedia book. Now watch this. This is really, really interesting. And it really adds to your reading experience. Now it's going to get kind of loud because this is a kind of theatrical presentation of a book. And again, it's all for good fun. So I like to read book page to pay, page uh, by page when I'm uh, reading an interactive book. So I'm going to click on the first tab and listen. Werewolf High by Mark Tyler Nobleman, illustrated by Bradford Kendall. And you um, advance the page at your pace. Chapter one, new moon. Simon Prince squinted at the letters on the wall. R F O D H I, he said. Close, the eye doctor said. A F Q O H I. Close, Simon repeated. I got a. So I'm going to stop that. So it, it's um, how you would like, you know, a book read to you. It, this is like a theatrical presentation as i said before there's a lot of music there's a lot of reading with passion on here so um you know some kids really like that they like to listen to the um interactive ebooks also too there's audio books here where it's just audio is read to you of that particular book some people like audio books so it's all up to you what you're interested in reading so again this is the uh destiny discover um home page this is how you can access the ebooks you know you can get in contact with me at any given time P please feel free to reach me uh again my contact information and let me go back to my powerpoint you know you can reach me through um my email address as well as if you would like to reach me through social media, the only thing you would have to do is just inbox me and I can give you the support that you need. And I'm going to just pull up my, my information one more time for you so you can find me. And there we are here. This is my contact information, which is jareadersLMC at gmail.com. And I can be found on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at boss underscore librarian. That's it for now. I'll have another video for you in the next couple of days. And again, happy reading. Take care. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. And be healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.